and welcome back to the shop. <coughs> so today we're cleaning up the cylinder. So one of the first things you want to do is scrape off all the silicon. Gas yeah, so on top of the head mating surface. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure the um, we're going to measure I'm just getting some oil. Lightly oil this surface. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure the bore of the cylinder. And see what condition she's in. Going to clean off this sharp edge. It's all the way around the cylinder. If you do this, make sure you blow off all the flakes, etc., that come off so you don't rub them into the surface. Because that's the last thing you want. This swarf getting embedded into the head mating surface now don't do this with your balls but you can do it on this inside passage. Because this isn't a critical area. Getting rid of these burrs just helps it seat better.
Same thing with this side. Wash that off. Right then. So now it's time for measuring. So what I've got here is a dial bore gauge, um, and what you need to do is take a micrometer take a micrometer and measure the zero of this so the zero of this um, I'm going to turn it on is 75.342 um, millimetres so that's this when it's not being used and as you can see when we hit the plunger we get a number so the way this works and I'll show you this end and then the top end you need to mark your so you need to basically work out which cylinder so the way this sits in the bike is that that's forwards, this is backwards. So we're going to call this cylinder 1 and this cylinder 2. We need to go below the ring band. So the ring band is about 5 6 millimeters. You can see in here, there's a bit where the rings don't rub. So we need to go below that. And then all we do is stick our plunger in. And then we read off the highest number that we can find by rocking it backwards and forwards and the highest number we get is 1.289 so 1.289 and then what you do is you minus your 1.289 away from your 75.342 and that gives you this bore diameter you measure in the X, in the Y and then you measure halfway down X and Y and then you measure just above the bottom X and Y and that will give you what tape your bore is etc.